hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Genshin of Daka. Today we're going to be discussing the ball skills that were leaked um, from the 2.1 beta testers. And this is going to be insane because her skills are awesome. So let's get into it. First of all, we have her normal attack, which is called Origin, and it's 5 consecutive spear strikes. Her charged attack will make an upward slash. And it won't be a like a spinning dash thingy like the other spear users you do. So that's pretty cool. And at level 10, uh, it's about 100% on all the hits or 80, 85, 90, 100%. It's pretty good multipliers. Now, her elemental skill. Transcendence, Baleful Light. The Raiden Shogun unveils a shard of her Euthumia, dealing electro damage to nearby opponents and granting nearby party members the Eye of Stormy Judgment. Eye of Stormy Judgment. When characters with this buff attack and hit opponents, the Eye will unleash a coordinated attack, dealing AoE electro damage at the opponent's position uh, every 0.9 seconds. So, the skill damage at level 10 is 210%, and the coordinated attack damage is 75%. This lasts 25 seconds, but the cooldown is only 10 seconds. And depending how much energy you can get from this skill, how many energy particles will go to the character, um, it's going to boost 0.25% on the burst damage uh, per energy. So this can only be activated by other party members, so this is more of a support skill, but you can do it um, pretty often because it's only 10 second cooldown and it does really good damage. Um, and you can also uh, boost your burst. Now, I don't know if this will boost Ball's burst, or if it will boost the other character's burst in the party, but I think it goes for the other character. And this is a really great supporting skill, because it just it's just more damage on top of what you're already doing. Now, her burst is uh, more DPS. Secret Art, Muso Shinsetsu. So, gathering truths unnumbered and wishes uncounted, the Raiden Shogun unleashes the Muso no Hito Tachi and deals AoE electro damage, and then she's going to use Muso Ishin. And all of this damage is based on Shogun, Byakugen, No Rin's Resolve stacks. So, Muso Ishin basically means uh, Raiden Shogun will switch her weapon to a sword, and it's going to have electro energy. And when attacks hit opponents, it's going to recharge energy for all party members, not just her. And uh, this will be restored uh, uh, every one second and can be triggered five times. And she has resistance to interruption increase and immune to electro charge reaction damage, which is uh, it's kind of a weird thing, but I guess okay. And then Shogun Byakugen no Rin. When nearby party members use their elemental burst, the Raiden Shogun will build up Resolve based on the amount of energy they consume. The max amount of Resolve stacks is 60. So, let me explain some stuff. First of all, the base damage at level 10 is... Base damage at level 10 is 706%, and the damage bonus per Resolve stack is almost 1%, it's 0.97%. Now, the resolve stacks gained at level 10 is going to be 0.2 per energy consumed. So, um, for 5 energy consumed, you're going to get 1 resolve stack. The maximum is 60. And then, so we also have some multipliers for her electro hitting damage. And it's lower than her normal attack damage, but it's all electro attack, so this is a pretty good skill. Um, and the charge attack will cost 20 stamina. So we also, it's going to restore a certain amount of energy for the party. So at level 10, it's going to restore 2.5 energy per each second for 5 seconds. And the duration of the Muso Ishin will be 7 seconds, which is a decent amount of time. The cooldown is 20 seconds and the energy cost is 80 energy. So as you can see, Ball's um, burst skill is a very very DPS type of skill, very personal DPS, but her elemental skill is a supporting skill. So she's going to be a really good sub DPS. Let's take a look at her passive talents. So her exploration talent is called All Preserver. More expended when ascending swords and pole arms is decreased by 50%. And this is really nice because if you're going to be a, uh, leveling up a weapon for her, 
then you're also gonna have if you have her then that means you're gonna decrease the cost of mora by 50 percent now her combat talent so wishes unnumbered when nearby party members gain elemental orbs or particles shogun byakugin no rin gains two resolve stacks this effect can occur once every three seconds so if another party member is gaining energy then it will build up the ball's resolve stacks and make her burst even stronger second one is called enlightened one each one percent above 100 energy recharge that the raiden shogun possesses grants her 0.6 percent greater energy restoration from muso ishin and 0.4 percent electro damage bonus so this way, you're going to be able to regenerate more energy from your party, from Muso Ishin, and you'll be able to gain more Electro Damage Bonus for a Ball. So it's not a bad choice to build her with some Energy Recharge, and obviously because her Burst is 80 cost, you may want to put some Energy Recharge, but I don't think you're going to need too much, too much. So this was just a quick overview of her skills. If you want me to do um, a video on her Constellations, I just write it down in the comments below and I'll gladly oblige. This info comes from Honey Impact. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Have a nice day. And Genshin with Daka out.